We've all heard of the term critical thinking, but I don't think everyone realizes how important critical thinking is in project management. In this video, we're gonna dive into what is critical thinking, why it's so crucial, and what you can do to enhance it. What is critical thinking? Make no mistake, it's not being critical of others or being judgmental. It's about constructive thinking, problem solving, and being active and disciplined in your approach to problems. It's the ability to think critically and logically and being able to connect the dots between what you are reviewing. In practice, it involves analyzing information, evaluating evidence, making reasonable conclusions, and being open-minded. Before we get further into critical thinking, I have this for you, the six basic things to keep your projects from failing. I cannot tell you how important these things are. I follow them myself. If you're wondering, Adriana, what are they? Guess what? Just put in the comments free download and we'll send you the free PDF. Why should project managers develop critical thinking skills? It enhances your decision-making skills. It helps with problem solving. It helps with risk management. That's what critical thinking gives you. How to improve your critical thinking skills. The good news is we all have critical thinking in us. It's whether or not we've been tapping into it and can we quickly bring it out. So here are some things that you can do. Always be curious. Do not stand or accept the status quo. When you're in critical thinking, you're gonna have to do a little more investigation and be curious as to what's going on, where are you getting the information, who's providing it, did you do enough digging? And so that curiosity is gonna lead you to looking for more options and ideas and more logical patterns that's only gonna help you really fine tune your critical thinking. Reflect on your decisions that you've made in the past. Great way to improve on critical thinking is to go, what did I do in the past and how did I do it before? Did it turn out well? Is there anything I need to improve upon? This self-reflection is only going to ensure the next time you have to pull out those critical thinking skills, you're gonna learn from work, what worked well, but more importantly, what did not. Seek feedback. Look, when we're doing our critical analysis and we're trying to figure out what we need to do, there's a lot of information we're taking in. Did we do a good job with it? So that's after the fact that you've done it, but you also need to seek feedback as you're in it as well. So feedback is like a two-way street. Hey, can I have your feedback on this? How am I doing with the critical thinking? Is there anything that you would add to what we're doing here collectively as a group or individually? Seeking feedback is just gonna provide that additional information, which is only gonna help and make it better from a critical thinking standpoint. Continuous learning. In order to be really good at critical thinking and just get better and better at it, you have to continuously learn. It's through your knowledge and exposure that gives you additional insights for critical thinking. And this is really important on projects. You don't have to be the subject matter expert in projects, but you need to have really good insight and have exposure to other things because it, through that lens, you actually provide tons of value and a great input for critical thinking that you have to do on your project. Before we jump into the next tip, watch this. For a deep dive into the essentials of running successful projects, I'd love for you to join one of my Slay programs. Slay Project Management is an online course with step-by-step -step videos, tools, and templates for the full project life cycle. Or go pro with Slay Pro. Everything in Slay plus weekly group coaching calls with me so you can tackle your real world scenarios and issues to get on the right track. Ready to level up? Check out the details below. Develop self-awareness. Critical thinking is not just about the logic, but it's using your emotional intelligence as well. What are you picking up on? Are there other additional cues that are maybe not so in your face logical that you need to also take into account? That emotional intelligence is gonna provide a lot of input as well. Practice problem solving. So again, we talk about practice, how do we fine tune these skills? There's tons of puzzles out there for problem solving that is going to help you because it just opens up your mind on how to look at things. Because sometimes we see those puzzles in simple things like take a look at this particular uh, lettering and you tell me what can you see in it. There's a lot of those brain teasers out there. I use those a lot in the beginning of projects to get my team to kind of warm up to critical thinking when we really have to do a deep analysis. But you can do that on your own and it really does make a positive impact. 
Now you know how to set up your critical thinking skills. Don't forget, get this. These are the six basic things you need to know to ensure your projects do not fail. How do you get it? Well, you have two options. You can go to the comments section, write down free download, and we'll send you the PDF. Or you can go underneath this video and there's a link. Watch this next video on how to manage difficult stakeholders. If you found this video to be of help and useful, please give it a thumbs up, drop us a comment below, and I hope that you choose to join this amazing community by subscribing. Till the next video, see you later.